Troublemakers, we have a mission. Get your calendars ready. February 5th, big day. There is a book coming out. It's called Dark of the West. The book is so stunning. It's so well written. How would I know, right? The book's not even out. Well, I helped edit it. I gave the author, who happens to be my friend, notes. And then those notes helped shape the book. Okay? <laughs> I don't know what the hand gestures are for. I just, I feel the need to convey. Do you understand? If you don't understand the words, understand my hands. Get the book. And it's important because if this book sells well, guess what happens? It gets turned into a movie. If it gets turned into a movie, guess who's gonna be on set? This guy. I'm gonna be vlogging away. I might even be in the movie. I, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about that yet. But like, yeah, uh, there's a role, there's a character in the book, and the writer, uh, Joanne, she was like, Maybe you, Dylan, and I, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that or not. Buy this book so it can get turned into a movie, and then I can get turned into a movie star. And it's only like $12 in some sense. 12 bucks for one of the best books of the year? Hardcover? Poo. <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. Poo. Poo. What a deal. Poo. Troublemaker gang, let's help her out. Let's buy this book. Let's make me into a movie star. I guess I should probably tell you what the book's about. <laughs> book is a young adult fantasy. It's kind of like World War II technology, but there's like different kingdoms. But then there's this militaristic nation that's like coming up, right? The youngest son of the leader, yeah, his mom gets assassinated. And the prime suspect is this queen over here, right? So the father's like, hey, go over to this kingdom, infiltrates, and get their secrets, and we'll eat away at them from the inside and get our revenge. Except guess who's over here? Not just the queen, but a hot princess. Guess who falls for the hot princess? That's right, our boy over here with the murdered mom. <laughs> Only problem is her mom probably killed his mom. But like, she's a hot princess though, you know? Like you can overlook some stuff because like hot princesses are like the, the number one ideal, right? Like you can kill my whole family. If you're a hot princess, I'll forgive you. <laughs> All right, now on to movie commentary Monday. This week we got Beauty and the Beast, live action. Here's the thing about Disney movies, man. When I was a kid, I watched them, right? But that was so many years ago. I, I don't remember anything about them, except what I remember from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Let's give it a watch, man. Emma Watson, Beast. All right, Emma, oh yeah, the rose, the rose. I remember that. Oh, that's an old ass hand. Oh, isn't there a witch? The prince was selfish and unkind. Wait, the prince wore Master, a wig? It's time. Wait, what? He taxed the village to fill his castle with the most- Whoa, 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 whoa. So the prince wore this powdered wig. Master, it's time? Bro, what is going on with your thumb there? Does he have a pointy thumb? I've never seen a thumb shape like this before. Who is the servant? I- the village oh, is that a- he's wearing a glove. <laughs> but it took me that long. It took me that long to figure that out. Is this a musical? Oh yeah, the original is. Right? Alright, can we get Hermione up in here? Like, I'm ready for some wizardry. An unexpected intruder arrived at the castle. Did he really go to get the candle? <laughs> Bro, how much light is that giving you, really? Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince turned the woman away. Hmm. Well, how do you accept that role? Like, that's how they talk about you in the movie. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, your agent sends that to you like, Oh, you want me to play the repulsive, haggard woman? You, they're gonna need a lot of prosthetics and makeup, right? <laughs> what do you mean, no? But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances. Yeah, you dumbass. You're gonna get turned into a big fucking monster. Wait, she put out a candle? Whoa! What magic does she have? Watch this. Hey, get out of here, you fucking candlelight. The old woman's outward appearance melted away. Oh, is she pretty pretty? She transformed him into a hideous beast. The prince and his servants were forgotten by the world. For the enchantress had erased all memory of them. Wait, so she erased the people's memories? For who could ever learn to love a beast? Who could ever love a beast? Cut to furry con. <laughs> Is that a thing? That's gotta be a thing. Furry con, where a bunch of people dress up in like their wild ass furry, furry outfits, furry suits. What do they call them? Furry fabrics? That's, there it is. Furry fabs. <laughs> I've I've been actively going out of my way to avoid musicals recently. 
didn't think this was a musical. I don't remember this much singing in all those movies. I guess there was. Man, it's been so many years. Not the magic carpet ride. Fucking, that was a musical. More than this provincial life. There must be more than this provincial life. But you may reread any of the old ones that you'd like. <laughs> is, this the, is this the entire library right there? There's just like seven books? Who needs her when you've got us? Yes. But ever since. Does he answer that guy? <laughs> Wait, how did, how did that horse kick. Wait. How, how were the physics? How that? How, no. <laughs> like, I guess it's a Disney movie where they got flying fucking carpets and shit, but like, the horse splashed this way. The, the splash would go that way. Not that way. <laughs> He's like, you got what you deserve, bitches. Wonderful book you have there. Have you read it? Uh, well, not that one, but you know, books. <laughs> <laughs> I have read a book before. Are you impressed? Sorry, not this evening. Is he? No. So what does Belle do for a living? How does she earn her money? Or does a moment last forever? Damn, you're singing too? Oh. Belle. Oh, Belle, I didn't see that. Just singing a song to myself. Making clocks and shit. Your mother was... Fearless. Fearless. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Then I should bring you another. I feel like he's gonna die. Goodbye, Papa. Goodbye, Bill. Yeah, Pop's dying. He's too kind in a harsh world. He's gotta die. Stay safe. <laughs> oh, he's dying for sure. You hung on her for like five seconds. Please don't die, Father. <laughs> he's dying. Oh, is this what she does for a living? Is this how she earns her money? By... I have no idea what she's doing actually. How does Belle earn her living? I don't know why that's so important to me, but it is. That flies over the... What on earth are you doing? They're teaching a girl to read. Girl to read. Oh, that's exactly where he's going. Women shouldn't read. <laughs> Fuck your clothes. Doesn't get any better. Okay, hands off, you little weirdo. I'm never going to marry you, Gaston. I'm sorry. He's like encouraged. <laughs> I'll never marry you. I like a lady that protests. Look at him. Look at him. He's satisfied. Now we're back to the provincial thing. The song has been like 15 minutes. We're 15 minutes in and we're still on the same song. Oh, back to the castle. Oh, lovely. <gasps> Does the beast kill the father? I don't. Bro, does the beast kill the father? I forgot. Is that a thing? It, it is. It sounds right. No way she would ever forgive him, though. There's no way. Oh, 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 come on. Ah, uh, the beast will save him, right? <laughs> <laughs> How did that horse come back? Philippe! Is that a magic fucking horse? Philippe! And it just magically appears beneath him? Bro, how did that horse get here? The wolves had sur The wolves chased off after him. The, the horse. And then they circled back for the guy. And the horse came back? Philippe? Philippe is a loyal bitch. What a loyal ass horse. Philippe! You're a horse among men that wolf had a scar is that the lion king crossover is that scar <laughs> except you know like he's a wolf that <laughs> doesn't make any sense the animal has a scar it must be a crossover man that's a big ass castle you gotta be extra wealthy maybe that's the plot twist emma watson's actually secretly into his money <laughs> that's better oh. does he live that's uh, bro I need to know. Was he just warming his asshole? Who puts their butt out to a fire? <laughs> Make yourself at home. Damn, Goldilocks, what are you doing? Mom said I wasn't supposed to move. A talking teapot? 
Well, I get that's freaky, but you were just chased by wolves. Plus that teapot had like a little, little nice voice. Mommy said I wasn't supposed to move. Roses, I nearly forgot. Oh yeah, you can't forget the roses cause that's what's important here. You lost all your luggage when the wolves chased you and you're gonna go back out there, but uh, make sure even after the teapot talked to you, make sure you get your rose. You deserve to die cause you're stupid. Philippe, you lie. I thought you were loyal. <laughs> Philippe, you bitch. Are you kidding me? You go through a pack of wolves to save your master. But one, one beast and you're off. You little, oh. Mm -mm. What happened? She asked the horse as if it's gonna answer. <laughs> oh no, that's right. She agrees to stay at the castle in return for her father. So her father gets to leave and she takes his place. That's how the story goes. Ah, now I remember. Why would Philippe come back though? Like you flee the first time, you leave your master behind, but you bring like a squirrely girl back. Like what's she gonna do? Is she gonna fight a beast? Hello? Housekeeping. This place is dusty as shit. Can I come in? Oh yeah, get your stick just in case you know, this 400 pound beast attacks. At least you have your tiny stick. Wait, what if it's not a stick? What if it's a wand? I won't let you do this. I lost your mother. I won't lose. Yeah, he's old already. He's got what, like 15 years maybe? Go. <coughs> yeah, he's coughing already. I need a minute alone with him. Oh, she gonna try to take off with him. Bro, you saw his lateral mobility before? Yeah, you ain't getting away from that. <laughs> she kind of strong. <laughs> oh, you are very strong. This <laughs> yeah, did you see her push your father? I left this place spotless in no time. What? I want one of those. Risk anything to kiss you again, Plumet. No, my love. I've been burned by you before. Wait, the candle is in love with the duster? What a weird... And she's a bird. I mean, you're a candle, but like, it's still kind of weird. You're still mannish, you know? You're in the form of a man. Gaston, no one's next as incredibly fast, Gaston. Is he a chiropractor? Why, why does this guy follow Gaston around? Too much? Yep. I think LaFool is kind of into Gaston. That nobody fights like Gaston. When I hunt, I sneak. You bit him on his stomach? You a freak, Gad. You a freak. Hey. 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 A huge, horrid, monstrous beast. <laughs> Crazy old Maurice. Listen to me. Listen to me. She's the daughter of a common thief. What kind of person do you think that makes her? I wish his voice was a little more deep and scary. Will you join me for dinner? I told you to join me for dinner! And I told you no! If she doesn't eat with me, then she doesn't eat at all! Oh, yikes. Yeah, starve her to death. Good job, bro. Good, th good thinking. Yeah, okay, here we go. Here we go. I was like, that's a pretty full rose. It's not suspicious. It's the middle of winter and you got the window open. Wait, did you just drink out of the boy? Nice to meet you. What Isn't that creepy? Also, his thing is cracked. He's cracked. Is he like missing an arm in real life? Does that translate? Like he gets cracked as a cup. So like when he gets tr transformed back into a boy, <laughs> is he like missing a limb? Like a hand or something? <laughs> Yikes. Your dinner. Be our guest. Put our selves to the test. They can dance. I'm feeling the Disney magic. I think before when they were doing the first musical number, I felt it, and I'm feeling it again here. We'll prepare on <laughs> Fish head. Oh yeah, give me some dessert. Oh yeah. I think you could convince me to stay at a castle forever, if I could get like really nice desserts every day. I'd even love a beast. I can get into that lifestyle. If you got good dessert. Maybe I mentioned something about the West Wing. Never you mind about that. 
Straight to bed. <laughs> yeah, like she's not gonna go to the West Wing. Oh, is she gonna find the rose? Is that what they're trying to protect in the West Wing? Just, she walks in, the beast is masturbating. Ah this is what you didn't want me to see in the West Wing, big beast dick. It's like the poster for like a Netflix documentary. <laughs> oh, there she is. There's the rose. Uh-oh. Beast is going to catch her. Beast going to catch her. Girl, you shouldn't be here. Oh, yeah, that rose doesn't look so good. What are you doing here? What did you do to it? Nothing. Get out of here. Go! That was less threatening than I wanted it to be. Come on, man. Yeah, his voice. I think they should have made his voice deeper. Wait, how? The horse has been here the whole time? How did the dad get back? Yeah, Felipe ain't loyal, man. Oh, now Beast is gonna save her from the wolves. Oh, Felipe! Get out of here, bro! Damn, she is taking it to these wolves. Is he gonna tackle it? Oh no. Beast has got it. He got it. He good. Oh, he's gonna roar. Ah, oh, Scar, he pussy. He's injured though. Yeah. She can't leave him now. I thought it would have been a good scene to have the candle and the, you know, the, uh, the servants talk him into going to save her. Like, no, she left. Err. She left like. Everyone else leaves me. <laughs> oh yeah, he's just suffering from wolf bites. Yeah, give him a towel. Yeah, give him a blanket. That's gonna cure him. Resumed an upright position through some sort of magic or, or other. You really want to marry into this family? <laughs> so that means that the, <laughs> the... I will feed you to the wolves! Stop! Stop it! Yeah. You're kind of going to need his approval to marry his daughter, though. That's no way to talk to my future father-in-law now, is it? That's what I'm saying. You will never marry my daughter. <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> Once the wolves have finished with him, Belle will have no one to take care of her but me. Hurts. If you... Damn, talk about chest hair. Why do you care about him so much? We've looked after him all his life. Are you going to have this conversation right in front of him? When the master lost his mother and his cruel father took that sweet innocent lad and twisted him up to be just like him, we did nothing. Oh, it's the parents' fault. Ah, oh, she has a different opinion of him now because, like, his parents fucked him up? Bro, this doesn't excuse him being a douche. Ah, oh, the ballroom. When do we get to see that scene? <laughs> the candle in the duster. Man, that floor is gonna be so clean. Night, mama. And what's that? Do you sleep as a cup? Okay, like, I know she's probably like a fan favorite, the cabinet. Because, oh, look, she's narcoleptic, she needs sleep, and then she's also this big cabinet. But, like, honestly, this is kind of scary. I could just see her falling over and just engulfing you into her cabinet mouth here. You know? Is that is that no one else's fear? Like, I wouldn't sleep in the same room as you. Because I feel like you're going to swallow me up. I've given him no medical attention. You just put a, you're like your scarf on him outside and just felt for a fever. Don't you got to like sew up his wounds? There must be some way to break the curse. Well, there is one. Oh. It's not for you to worry about, lad. Yeah. We've made our bed and we must lie in it. You can't tell her. Because then she's going to feel obligated to fall in love. Oh, there got another one. Bro, that's so scared. You still passed out? Damn, that was a hard punch. Who are you? Is this Harry Potter? This is Harry's Owl! Actually, Romeo and Juliet's my favorite play. Uh, why is that not a surprise? Yeah, <laughs> you, you basic bitch. <laughs> oh, he got a big ass library, so she gonna fall for him. I told you, she's after his possessions. If you like it so much, then it's yours. Just donate a library to her? Why doesn't he use 
<laughs> why, why doesn't he use his hands? He's still got thumbs, right? I just feel as if I'm seeing it for the first time. Oh. <laughs> oh! 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 He just face shot at her. Bro. He just head shot at her. It's pretty messed up. That was like a rocket, too. It's got superhuman strength. I gave her a concussion. Shit. Yeah, use her hands, dog. Oh, she's gonna eat with her mouth. They find common ground. That's what this is about. There may be something there that yeah, wasn't man. there before. All it took was him risking his life. Just one gesture. Guys, take notes. If she's ever getting chased by a pack of wolves, throw yourself at the wolves. That's how you get the girl, man. That's how you win her heart. You get attacked by wolves. What are you reading? Nothing. <laughs> He's reading Playboy. Even beasts have urges. <laughs> Five days trying to find you. You tried to kill me. You left me to the wolves. Ask Agatha. She rescued me. You'd hang your accusations on the testimony of a filthy hag. No offense. Is she the enchantress? Bro! Bro! Did you see that? Oh, no, no, no. Let's go back. On the testimony of a filthy hag. No offense. <laughs> She's like this filthy wench. Then he says like, oh, no offense. And she's like, eh, don't worry about it. People say it all the time. I think if they were to do this movie again, or if I had my hand in this, I would have spent less time setting everything up. And I would have spent more time with the Beast and Emma Watson getting closer. Because the only thing that they've really connected on are books, you know? I'd like to see them have a little bit more romantic moments. The finishing touch. What is coming from what? What is happening? Sparkles? Oh. Okay. I don't understand the science of that, but that's cool. Here we go! Here we go! Billy and the Beast. Tale as old as time, true as it can be. As old as Does he have a tail? Does the beast have a tail? Kind of looks dirty, doesn't it? Look at that dangle there. <laughs> One day he might earn your affection. I don't know. Really? You think you could be happy here? Wait, that mirror shows... What does it show you? I'd like to see my father. Oh, you can make requests? Papa! You must go to him. Bro, the butlers are about to get turned into freaking inanimate objects. Why don't you go with her? Beast it up. Why are you leaving in a dress? It's so cold out. Oh my god. What a poor choice. I'm sorry I couldn't do the same for all of you. Now go. <laughs> you're gonna be a candle forever. Tough break. Get a good night's sleep because you're probably dying tomorrow. Yikes. <laughs> I let her steal into my melancholy heart. It's this is the most melodramatic song ever. Sad man. Why are you- that's not a horse riding dress, girl. I don't know what you're thinking. Stop! <laughs> My father's not crazy! Gaston, tell him! He's been raving about, about a beast! And there is a beast! Your word is hardly proof! You want proof? Show me the beast! What? <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> what? She shows them a beast on this tiny ass mirror and they're like, oh no, get that away from me. Bro, it's an image this size of something from far away. Bro, what is wrong with these people? <gasps> God damn it. That is the enchantress. Book it. Book it. Watch how she walks away. Bro. Well, I say we kill the beast! We have a cut on village if we let him wander free! So it's time! The f. This thing has never interacted with you ever. This beast has been out in the woods for as long as you possibly know. It could be hundreds of years. Never once has it ever interacted with a single person besides these two people. Who now vouch for the beast. But you're gonna go kill it? Good good plan, guys. Look at how many people there are. That's miles of people. She's not coming back. 
No. Do you not hear the mob at your door? Where do they get that giant battering ram? <laughs> oh, you getting fucked up by furniture. How does that feel? He's not phased at all. Moving furniture, he's just like, eh. What is going on in his life? Where moving furniture is just normal to him. About, about time. <laughs> Damn. Oh, she gonna eat him. Oh. Is she gonna make him pretty? Little boys, yeah. Beautiful. They give up fighting because they're dressed as girls now? Dog. Bro. What the fuck is going on? Go, go! I knew you were the sorceress. I'm Gaston. Bell sent me. Oh, he's still alive. God damn it. You can't die unless it's accidental when it comes to Disney movies. Damn, Gaston's a fighter, huh? The beast has got to be at least 400 pounds. And like eight and a half feet tall. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, you could fuck him up real nice right here. You won't, though. Gaston, you a bitch. Yeah, you gotta die, Gassy. See ya, Gas! Oh, the Enchantress is gonna come in. No, he good. He good. It's Disney. He good. One last time. Yeah, his lips aren't very hairy. They could probably kiss. Oh, is that the last petal? Bye, my love. Aww. Oh, this is the saddest part right here. Don't leave me. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell? Okay, this shit's making me sad now. The candle. Go all candles. Oh, it's like a little doggy. Ah, she, she, she can't find her son, know. bro. Where is my little boy? Oh, come on. What the hell? I know they're going to be fine. Why am I like Teary? Come on. I can't speak. It's all right, Coxwell. I can't. It was an honor to serve with you. The honor was mine. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. What if it's like a Shrek ending where she like turns her into a beast as well? Come on. I love you. You haven't known him for that long. Let me see the servants. Hey, man hands. Hey, man feet. Man calves. Man waists. Oh, he got some flowing locks, huh? Damn, bro. What if she's not attracted to him? <laughs> she's like, eh, you're not my type. <laughs> yeah! I want to see the human forms. Oh. Oh, we did see them before in the first part of the movie. Oh, he's missing his... T Oh, you all gonna come back pretending like you didn't come here to kill the master. Bro! We're just gonna forgive everyone? The last scene is just them hanging. <laughs> the entire village. He turns back into the beast. He's like, well, I got my revenge at least. Turns to feast. <laughs> there was a guy that came into Josh Gad's arms. What was that? What was that all about? Were you trying to imply? That Josh Gad's character is gay? Because if that's the case, then he had a thing for Gaston the whole time. I was making that up for comedic effect, but I think that's what they were going for. But they kind of, they shied away from it at the end because they cut away pretty fast. Good job. I think the one thing I would have done with this movie... Oh, these are cool titles. All right, man, that's Beauty and the Beast. I think the one thing that I would have done differently, I think I would have had... Beast and Belle get closer. More scenes of them getting closer. 
Because that's what, as an adult, that's what I'm coming for. I want to see the romance part. So I think I would have focused more on that, you know? It took literally, I think, like a whole hour before we got, like, substantial Beast Bell scenes. I think you could have dedicated more time to them getting closer. Because those were the best scenes in the movie. Is when they're hitting it off. But there's few, too few scenes of those, you know? Alright guys, come back next week for another movie commentary Monday. Up top, I'm gonna put a movie commentary Monday that you might enjoy. And then on the bottom, I'll put, um, just another video. Okay, yeah. Don't forget to buy my friend's book. And, yeah. Love you guys. See you later.